Hi everybody, I am going to discuss uh, MCQ year 12 2018. Subject is System Programming and Compiler Design. This video is for Diploma student in Computer Science and Technology. System Programming and Compiler Design. MCQ solution of 2018 question number one a which of the system software which of the system software reside in the main memory which is the system which of the system software reside in main memory always option a text editor option b assembler option c linker option d loader Which of the system software reside in the main memory all times and we know the answer is loader because loader load the object code into the memory during the execution so loader is required uh, during memory always the answer is loader which of the system software reside in main memory answer is loader next question number two Compiler has phases. Option A seven, option B six, option D eight, option option C eight, option D nine. Compiler kothukulo phase achi. Ita bivinno boite bivinno answer tumi tumi jodi dekho ita search kore. So, कौनो समय इटा eight answer देखी है ची कौनो समय six कौनो समय seven. So there basically phases mean the Tasks performed by different uh, uh, way. So, lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generator, code optimization. Code optimization you can uh, machine independent code optimization. Machine independent. So you can split this code optimization further. So this is the first one is lexical. Second one is syntax, semantics. Uh, next one is intermediate code generator. Uh, then uh, uh, code generation. This is the, uh, and assembly and other target code. So these are the basically six phases and these are the six phases of compiler there are six phases lexical analyzer syntax semantic intermediate code generator code of gener optimizer code generation and output optimizer and code generation and output so this is the uh, six phases of compiler kichu kichu show my seven phases eight phases of all uh, depending on the uh, situation it is the amrek to this being any call it a keep away they can better of it first source code nila source code this is a source code and then a lexical analyzer then lexical analyzer after lexical analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer semantic analyzer so these are the machine in uh, user specific that is machine independent code now intermediate code generator After the intermediate code generator, there is a code optimization. And then code generation. So you can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 phases of compiler. You can say 6 phases of compiler. Last one is uh, target code, source code, target code. It actor duto tinte. It only show me duto thorahoi. So, if you do this, you will have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pages. If you do the target code, you will have the target code generator, then assembly and output, you will have the target code generator. So, it depends on the answer is option. So, it is basically 6 phases, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And code optimization, that is code optimization can be machine dependent code optimization, machine independent code optimization. You can further split this one. 
तो इट आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन होते हुए अवर वी कैन कंसिडर आउटपुट टारगेट बुक कोड दैट इज असेंबली एन आउटपुट दैट इज ऑल्सो वन तो एट तो सिक्स सेवन एट यू कैन कंसिडर स्टैंडर्ड एट सिक्स तो अपशन चूज कर लिक्स नौ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन ए टू पास एसेंबलर इन ए टू पास एसेंबलर द ऑब्जेक्ट कोड इन ए टू पास एसेंबलर द ऑब्जेक्ट कोड जेनरेशन इज डन ड्यूरिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट कोड जेनरेशन इज डन ड्यूरिंग ऑप्शन ए सेकेंड पास ऑप्शन बी फर्स्ट पास ऑप्शन सी जीरो पास जीरो पास ऑप्शन डी नॉट डन बाय एसेंबलर नॉट डन बाय एसेंबलर इन ए टू पास एसेंबलर द ऑब्जेक्ट कोर्स जनरेशन डन ड्यूरिंग ऑब्जेक्ट कोर्स इज डन क्रिएटेड ड्यूरिंग सेकेंड पास द सेकेंड पास इज द आंसर the instruction the instruction like mov or add are called these are the instructions are called number 1 op code mean operation code number 2 operators number 3 commands number 4 None. The instruction like MOV add are called. Definitely, they are called operation code. They are not operator. They are not commands. They are uh, none. Commands mean is op code and operand. With combination of op code and operand, it is known as command. But uh, these are the specific op code. So the answer is op code. The last statement, the last statement of the source program should be option A, end. Option B, return. Option C, op. Option D, stop. And the answer is end. Every source code. End with end or HLT halt. You can write halt halt also. Yes. So this is the end of the assembly code. End. Next question number six. Which of the following? Which of the following? Translator program. Which of the following translator program? Convert which of the following translated program? Convert assembly language program to object program. Which of the following translator program convert assembly language program to object program? Option A is loader. No. Option B is compiler. Compiler can convert high-level language to machine-level language. Option C, assembler. Yes, this is the right answer. Assembler. And the fourth option is macro processor. No, it's works to perform macro-related operations. So, as answer is assembler because assembly-level code converted to assembly code is the source program is assembly code and this is the target code done by assembler. Option is assembler. Next question. Yuck. This is an, uh, one kind of compiler. Y A C C. Semantic action is is a sequence of is a sequence of option A token. Option B expression. Option C C statement. Option D rule rulers. Rules. Option D. Rules. These are the options.
and x semantic action is sequence of expressions so this is the right answer it's not token it's not c rules and other things this now this is the question number 7 now eight a programmer by mistake a programmer by mistakes write a program to multiply two number instead of dividing dividing korte dewa chilo multiply kore felch dividing them how can this error be detected option a actually this is not error uh, divide korte dise multiplication result de uh, multiplication uh, result debe multiply two number instead of dividing option a compiler option b interpreter option c both option d none none is the answer program ta amake diyeche division er ami ac equal to a by b diyeche ami multiply kore dichi if it is successfully run then it's okay there is no error to division er jaygay plus plus er jaygay minus eta korle kono error dekhay na so this is uh, none option is there আমি যদি প্রোগ্রামটা করি সি কল টু এ বাই বি তো সি আমরা যখন প্রিন্ট আউট করছি প্রিন্ট আউট করছি সিটাকে তো ডিভিশন করতে গিয়ে যদি আমরা এটা যদি ইন্টু করে লেগি বা ইন্টু জায়গায় প্লাস লিখে দিই তো যদি কোনো সিনটেক্স এটা না করি তো নাম্বার দুটো নেবে যোগ করে অ্যান্সার দিয়ে দেবে তো এটা তো ইটস নট এ মিস্টেক ইটস নট এ এরের বাই কম্পাইলার নেক্সট ইন হুইচ addressing in which addressing mode in which addressing mode the operand is given explicitly the operand is given explicitly in the instruction in which addressing mode the operand is given explicitly in the instruction option a absolute mode option b intermediate mode option c indirect mode option d index mode in which addressing mode the operand is given within the instruction itself the operand is given within within the instruction itself the mode uh, of the instruction the mode the operand is given the value is given that is immediate addressing mode because mbi suppose a comma 32 this is the value is given to the uh, registers directly this is the one of the operand and the value is given directly the answer is immediate addressing mode which of the following which of the following derivation which of the following derivation a top down parser use while parser and parsing and while parsing an input string by parsing an input string the input is the input is assumed input is assumed to be scan from left to right the input is assumed to be scanned from left to right option a left most derivation option b the right most derivation option c right most derivation in reverse option d left most derivation left most derivation in a reverse 
the answer is always left most derivation only left most derivation, not reverse not anything so these are the mcq question next short question these are the mcq now the short question b difference between difference between compiler and interpreter difference between compiler and interpreter difference between compiler and interpreter for two marks you can write two differences but ami ekhane eta boro question er jonno answer ta ami likhe dicchi tumra boro question aslo answer ta likhte parbe so for two marks you can take two points first compiler takes enter program as input compiler takes entire program as input interpreter is the definition takes single instruction as input interpreter takes single instruction as input question number 2 difference is two intermediate code is generated intermediate code is generated that is the object code here here no intermediate code is generated no intermediate code is generated the second point porikha shomoy dutu question two marks er jonno tomader dutu difference enough but এটা আমি অনেকটা লেন্দি করে লিখছি ফর ব্রড কোয়েশন অলসো নেক্সট থার্ড ডিফারেন্স মেমোরি রিকোয়ারমেন্ট ইস মোর বিকজ দেয়ার ইজ অবজেক্ট কোড ক্রিয়েশন মেমোরি রিকোয়ারমেন্ট ইস মোর হেয়ার লেস মেমোরি ইস রিকোয়ার্ড লেস মেমোরি ইস রিকোয়ার্ড next errors are displayed errors are displayed after the we know this one is error are displayed after the entire scan of the program after the entire program is scanned entire program is checked here in interpreter error are displayed errors are displayed for every instruction interpret mean every line by line checked hoy so it uh, one line after another line one after another line it check one line by line so it will display the errors uh, after the line error are display for every instruction interpreted error are displayed for every instruction interpreted and the last one is example these are the differences you know simple like compiler c compiler c compiler c++ compiler these are the example of uh, compiler and here there is a python example is python ruby and basic this is the example of interpreter jodi compiler and interpreter theke aro detail amra jan ami jante chai ba amra jante chai tale ei bhabe concept ta tumra develop korbe come in case of compiler source code this is a compilation process compilation process the source code compiler create machine code and that machine code is executed by cpu to get the output this is the way of any program compilation interpretation process in case of interpretation there is a source code and that source code is interpret by interpreter and create the output 
source code interpreted by interpreter and create the output so this is the uh, concept through which we can uh, compile and interpret it this can be further explained as source code in case of compilation source code pre-process pre-processing produces object code and that object code processing by its processor create machine code and this machine code is create the output so this is the pre-processing I mean compilations and then the processing by the CPU this is done by compilation and this is done by processing I mean uh, execution this is a compilation interpretation in, in interpretation source code pre-process pre-process pre-processing intermediate code processing interpreter and in this case machine code processing compilation so these are the concept through which you can explain compilation and interpretation in case of interpreter there is no intermediate code is created this this intermediate code is for the interpreter only not for us and this intermediate code is machine code is for us so in case of compilation there is no inter uh, there is an inter intermediate code which is available for the user but in case of interpreter there is no intermediate code that interpreted code is only available to the interpreter only so this is the differences concept of compilation and interpretation so this is a very common question in semester examination consider the example also suppose uh, there is a instruction mov a comma 3 there's operand is given mov b comma 4 four values provided to the uh, b registers you can use uh, mbi immediate move immediate you can use mbi so that it directly transfer the data to the particular registers mbi load 1a load that is uh, one is the registers uh, is loaded to that registers uh, multiply the value to one and b and then store the result store the result uh, to the temporary register and uh, the value uh, of registers is transferred to the temporary registers so this is the concept of a program assembly code and that create the uh, code there is a compiler to create this code which then the source code will be the source code is a equal to 3 b equal to 4 and write a into b now this source code is converted to this uh, object code to compiler create ami protham ei object code create korlam bojanor jonno je ami ki source code create korte cholechi this is the uh, source code this is the source code that is the program code high level code and this source code is uh, compiled by compiler and uh, create the object code that is the machine code and in case of interpreter, in case of interpreter, if we use those uh, instead of uh, compiler, if we use compiler, we use code, interpreter, use code, then we will use it. If we use interpreter, use code, it interpret the lines one by one, it will display 12. So, this is the basic concept. So, interpreter display the value that is one line up to another line, but in case of uh, compilation, it will create the intermediate code that is the machine code. So, the, this instruction, this instruction is provided by the users compiler create this code and this uh, user uh, this instructions interpreted by this code so this is the basic difference between compilation and interpretation you can use this example also now back to the uh, answer back back to the next question back to the next question mean there are uh, different questions first question was compiler and interpreter second question is uh, what is uh, bootstrapping what is bootstrapping in compiler what is bootstrapping in compiler question number two bootstrapping this is again the important topics in compiler it has short question at the number of you me do two marks a journal first to lick it up for a meter five marks a journey short to dish of our shit open it up when i leak the barbie baby i mean what a chance at bootstrap this is for two marks 
bootstrap compiler is used bootstrap compiler is used to compile bootstrap compiler is used to compile the compiler it is used to compile the compiler and then we can use this compiled compiler use this compiled compiler then we can use this compiled compiler to compile everything to compile everything it seems complicated but it is easier concept bootstrap loader hocche sei dhoroni loader je compiler ke compile korte kaaje lage then je compile com compiler ta compiled holo sei compiled compiler ta onno program ke compile kore concept e kirkom amra compiler create korar jonno je ami eta program banalam sei program ta ami suppose bangla theye eta compiler banalam sei compiler ta kaaj korbe kina to sei compiler ke compiled korabe je otai kaaj korchi kina tarpor sei compiled compiler ta jeta toiri holo tarpor sei bangla compiler ta bujhte parbe so eta ashe one kind of bootstrapping concept bootstrap so it is a concept through which compiler is compiled then compiled compiler can compile others programs so this is the basic concept of bootstrap loader for two marks you can uh, extend this for uh, three marks also bootstrapping bootstrapping eta ektu beshi marks hole ai lekha tar pore ektu add kore dio bootstrapping is used to produce bootstrapping is used to produce a self hosting a self hosting compiler a compiler can host itself self hosting self hosting self hosting compiler is a type of compiler is a type of compiler that can compile its own source code that compile that can compile its own source code bootstrapping is used bootstrapping is a technique bootstrapping is is a technique bootstrapping is a technique used in compiler development so this is a very important concept in compiler compile to create the compiled compiler so this is the technique through which uh, one compiler is compiled by itself and compile then, then the corresponding compiler i uh, compile others ami jodi amare program ta ami correct hocche kina ami nije check na kori tale ami onno der check korbo ki kore to ami ekta program compiler banalam seta correct nije kaaj korchi kina seta compile howar por se tobe onno der kaaj korte parbe so this is the concept of bootstrapping next what is relocation what is relocation this is the third question what is relocation relocation is the process of relocation is the process of relocation is the process of assigning relocation is the process of assigning the load address the load address for position dependent code position dependent code and data of a program position dependent code and data of a program those instructions are dependent on the co code dependent on the position dependent code need to be relocated so relocation is the process of assigning the load address for position dependent code and data of a program why to adjusting to adjust the code and data to reflect the assigned addresses to reflect the assigned addresses so this is the relocation relocation is the technique of assigning the load address for position dependent code and data of a program to adjust the code and data to reflect the assigned addresses to reflect the assigned addresses to reflect the assigned addresses this is the question number 3 next four what is direct linking loader 
इट इज ए जनरल रिलोकेटिंग लोडर इट इज जनरल रिलोकेटिंग लोडर इट अलाउज द प्रोग्रामर इट अलाउज द प्रोग्रामर टू यूज मल्टीपल प्रोसीड्योर एंड मल्टीपल डेटा सेगमेंट इट अलाउज द प्रोग्रामर टू यूज मल्टीपल प्रोसीड्योर एंड मल्टीपल डेटा सेगमेंट सो इट इज ए वन ऑफ द रिलोकेटिंग लोडर नेक्स्ट वट इज एमओटी वॉट आर द फील्ड्स ऑफ एमओटी वॉट आर द फील्ड्स ऑफ एमओटी वी नो द फुल पॉप ऑफ एमओटी इज मशीन ऑपरेशन टेबल मशीन ऑपरेशन टेबल इट इज ए मशीन ऑपरेशन टेबल इट इज ए फिक्स टेबल इट इज ए फिक्स टेबल द वैल्यूज इन द एमओटी कैन नॉट बी ऑल्टर्ड और मॉडिफाइड द वैल्यूज इन द एमओटी कैन नॉट बी ऑल्टर और मॉडिफाइड इट इज यूज इट यूज इट इज यूज बाय पास वन एंड पास टू इट इज यूज बाय पास वन एंड पास टू एम ओ टी इज ऑफ सिक्स बाइट सो दिस इज दिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एमओ टी नाउ द फील्ड्स ऑफ एमओ टी वट आर द फील्ड्स ऑफ एमओ टी एमओ टी इज सिक्स बाइट सो इट फर्स्ट फील्ड इज न्यूमेनिक ऑफ कोट दैट इज फोर बाइट कैरेक्टर is the first field of the table next is binary opcode one byte hexadecimal it is always in hexadecimal next one is instruction length the length of the instruction instruction length two bits and in binary format next so four one and two bits next is instruction format instruction format 3 bit binary and the last one is not used not used in design 3 bits 3 plus 3 plus 2 6 uh, 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 8 mean 1 8 bit mean 1 byte 1 byte plus 1 byte 2 byte plus 4 6 byte so this is the structure of mot for example the of code is mb uh, remaining others the four characters is allowed remaining other blank space uh, and the of code is d2 this is hexadecimal code and length is 11 that is length is 11 mean 6 uh, byte uh, 01 uh, is uh, the length is 0 and there is 01 mean 2 byte uh, 10 here 4 byte 24 and 11 is 6 byte the length of this instruction format is uh, 00100 there are many formatted uh, for 00 there are many format for 000 this is rr uh, 001 rx uh, 010 rs uh, 011 si and 100 ss and the not used in the design that is not used so this is the format of MOT. The MOT is a machine operation table used in pass one and pass two. Uh, both uh, this is very uh, important table during assembly process. Next one is what is pseudo operation? What is pseudo operation? What is pseudo operation? Addition instruction. Addition instruction. to the assembler it is an instruction to the assembler that does not generate that does not generate 
machine code. This does not generate machine code. The assembler resolved. The assembler resolves pseudo of code during assembly. During assembly. So it is an instruction to the assembler that does not generate any machine code. The assembler resolved the pseudo bridge code during assembly. And the last question of uh, this 2018 is what is symbol table manager? What is uh, symbol table manager? What is symbol table manager? Symbol table is one of the one of the important data structure one of the important data structure created and maintained created and maintained by compiler in order to save in order to store information so this is a very important data, st data structure in compilation process we know every compiler consists of source code and then it moves to lexical analyzer lexical analyzer after that is a syntax analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer intermediate code generator intermediate code generator then code optimization and finally code generation and there is a these are the phases of compiler and after that target code is generated all these phases are connected to symbol table manager and there is a error reporting facilities also error handler if there is an error during any phase this handler will show the error so this is the uh, question paper of 2018 system programming for diploma cst